Okay guys, after my initial reaction, obviously I'm still in that shock mode and I can't really go over it like in detail in regards to what I just thought about it and sort of lay my thoughts out. So that's what this video is for. This is my general thoughts on the trailer after watching it a few times. <laughs> So once again, the film is confirmed to be coming out in February, which in my opinion is perfect. I was kind of worried that they might try to bump it forward into like a late fall release date and there'd be too much stuff there because there was some rumors. Luckily, that turned out to not be true. So it's still coming out right there on Valentine's Day, which is um great in my opinion. Now, of course, this film is the next chapter in Captain America. And well, um, this trailer definitely conveys that. Except with the message of, we want Captain America, you're not Steve Rogers. And the message is, you're right, I'm not. But I am Captain America because I stand for what he believes in. The symbol that is Captain America. And I thought that that was great here. Along with that, the other thing they focus on is, of course, the uh, relationship between Sam Wilson and, well, Thunderbolt Ross. And uh, what we see in this is pretty interesting because they have a relationship that's obviously built on respect for one another but also how they've not seen eye to eye multiple times, especially during the Accords and all that. And uh, that's definitely in play here. And you get the sense that their relationship is, let's put on a face for the people, but there's a lot more going on behind the scenes, which again is great. And speaking of things going on behind the scenes, we definitely got the hint of the leader here. But of course, they're trying to avoid talking about that. And most of the shots of the villain in this are Giancarlo, who just ended up doing the reshoots recently. So the fact they even got his shots in this this quick is pretty impressive. Which, again, makes me think that a lot of the shots in this that are kept over from before the reshoots were obviously in the can for a while. Which is why the film looks so complete at this point, with the trailers at least. Like, a lot of it looks like it's not going to need any more color passes or anything like that. So... The trailer really did work for me in a lot of ways. I do still think that they're missing sort of the overarching who is the villain of this and what is going on, which of course they are saving for the next one. Don't get me wrong, but I think they needed a little more. I do appreciate that we got that scene of Red Hulk because that is going to get people talking. And obviously that's an important thing and a major factor in what's going on. So... I do like that we just got that tease. It, you know, what's the appetite, right? And the next meal is coming. You just got a small taste of it. So I like that here and I really appreciate it. Overall, I think this is a great trailer. It's a great first trailer. It definitely has a different tone opposed to a lot of the other Marvel stuff we've seen recently, especially the likes of Agatha and that trailer. Like these are whiplash effect style trailers that you would not think these things take place in the same universe. And I think that's the beauty of the mcu and these comic book properties so i'm super hyped for this but i think most of you know i'm like the resident captain america fanboy so i cannot wait i think this looks really really solid and on the correct path